Hi, this is Crazy Loco 5000 and this is what you what you should do when you first get a guinea pig. This is my guinea pig Neon. He is a calico guinea pig about 3 to 4 months old. And when I first got him, he was scared out of his mind. The best thing you should do is bring him home, get his cage all nice and set up and just put him in the cage and leave him there by himself so he can get used to his surroundings. You will notice that maybe the first day he might not start eating, but as you can see there's Timothy hay all over his cage and he loves lettuce. So the best thing to do is just put some food in his cage. Um, he has some up here. There's Timothy hay everywhere. The second day I had him, he was eating like a maniac. He looked like he was been he has been starving for a week. But if your guinea pig starts to eat like crazy, that doesn't mean they've been starving. It just means that they are hungry creatures, and it's good to give them a lot of food. Um, sometime after a while, your guinea pig might start to make noises. That's what Neon does. That just means, like, that they're saying hello to you, or they really like you. It doesn't mean that they're scared. It will kind of sound like sometimes a bird noise. That's perfectly fine. So don't get scared if they start like squeaking, it's fine. They're just like, I think it's just them saying that they're like excited. Neon, when I first got him, he was freaking out. He wouldn't let me pick him up. If he starts thrashing, or if they start thrashing around in your hands when you try to pick them up, just put them down and leave them alone for a little bit and then maybe try again later because it's not good to like scare them but like before they get used to everything eventually they will get used to you picking them up and you might get a little less cuts <laughs> um generally guinea pigs do have sharp nails but when you first get them sometimes they aren't that sharp cuz like he cuts me up a lot but not that bad so yeah Right now he's just chilling in his igloo, being a guinea pig. So far he's gotten used to me. They, like, normally they'll just sit still once they get into your arms. They are adorable, loving creatures. Um, I had to bring him up to the upper area in his cage so he would, like, know how to get up there. Like, he didn't know where his food was at first, so... It's good to pick them up and then put them up here and then let them find their way back down so they'll know for future references. Because now he goes up there by himself. And, yeah. They don't make much noises at night, or at least not neon. So. Once you first get them... He's coming out of his cage. It's good to give them a nice hiding spot, like get them an igloo. Right now he has two... Here you are. And it's good to get them a water bottle that doesn't drip. This one's about to drip right now, though. I actually had to buy a new one because of that. And it's nice to give them a nice big cage. And if they are by a window, it's good to put a bunch of blankets on top of it because they can get pneumonia. So you don't want that. And you have to be careful when picking them up. You always have to sit down with them. Because if they fall, they're more likely to die. That's just what I've been told. So it's nice to sit down when you're holding them. Otherwise, have fun with your guinea pig. I don't know if there's anything I left out. I wasn't really paying attention when people told me about them. So have fun. All the way back there. You don't like the camera, do you? He's got a nice little hiding spot back there. After a couple days, you could probably like pick up their food and hand it to them. They'll probably eat it right out of your hands. So, yep. Bye.